It's important to know that a CTR has a gap, and that's important when you're trying to reposition these dislocated lenses because what you're doing is throwing a suture around the CTR and using that as an anchoring point. But you have to be careful, like I mentioned in the beginning, there's a little gap here. So if the complex is dislocated inferiorly, you need a suture loop superiorly to shift the complex back in the center. If the way the primary surgeon left the CTR where the gap is superiorly, what will happen is you'll pass the suture loop and the suture loop may um, go through this gap and the lens will dislocate again. So when you're repositioning um, capsular bay complex that have a CTR, uh, it's important to have a very good dilation. I do prefer iris hooks and see where the little gap is. If it is so happens to be at 12 o'clock, it'll be very difficult to try and re-rotate the CTR, and you may be better off explanting the whole capsular bag and then going ahead with an alternative method of secondary eye wall fixation. If, for example, the complex is dislocated this way and you want to reposition it this way, you really have no issues throwing a suture loop here, 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 but don't pass a suture loop where you expect the gap to be because it may uh, ultimately pass through. Now, even if you throw it here, if there's a bit of tor like rotation or torque during the surgery, that suture loop could also slide through the gap. Unlikely, um, but really I think is just mainly an issue if you're passing, if you need the suture loop superiorly and there's a gap here. Hope you found this to be useful and thanks for watching.